Welcome back to the Treasure of Nadia. As always, the link down in the description to the Discord for NLT in their walkthrough section. There's a handwritten guide, other little guides, as plus people to chat to about all of these games, as well as other games for you to discover. Always a good time in there. While you're down there, hit like, hit subscribe, it really helps me out. Let's jump into this update, shall we, by heading to Estro Key to meet Alia. Meeting Alia, you will then have her in tow, meaning she's going to follow wherever you go. So we're going to head to the right-hand side, and we're going to head to the cave. We're then going to follow Claire, Joey, and Corn deeper into the cave. After the scene, you will then be greeted by Eve, who will tell you that you have activated the native shrine. With the native tribe, you can offer up items to the gods in exchange for more useful items. Not everything will result in a success though. If you fail, you'll get back your items. Click on the shrine to begin. If you play the Genesis Order, you'll all know about Angel Craft. This is a very similar setup, but instead you'll have to memorize most of the craft recipes yourself and then bring your items to here to craft them. We're gonna pick up the sparkle down here, which is gonna be our first silver talisman. We know what we're going to do with that. We're going to take that to Parissa in a moment. And we also have a torch for us to light up over here. We then have a craft recipe up in this room on the right hand side. It's going to be a jade shovel crafting recipe. We have to collect all of these items. Then we can take it to the shrine and then we'll have an upgraded shovel. Upgraded shovels are just going to speed up the process of how quickly you dig up treasure. Making it instantaneous the higher the shovel gets. Upon leaving the park area you will run into Sam and then it's time to head to the parlor for another massage but this time with our silver talisman instead we will then have another awareness boost but this time it is for three minutes so let's do three minutes of quick grinding in Astro Park and the final few seconds and the final few things to pick up it's been a pretty good three minutes of grinding. Now up to, what, 35 stone talisman and a couple of J talisman. We're going to take all of that to Diana to quickly sell. I forget, coming here will actually trigger a little bit of a change in the story. So when you speak to Diana, you're going to actually learn, tell her about the stuff that you found out in the cave. After you've seen that interaction, you What's will up? then Hello. be able to sell all your items Let to Diana. See. And with your newfound wealth, we can head to the shop where the next part of the story begins. Entering the parking lot, you should see a guy run straight past you. They're going to head straight into the squall mark, where Emily's going to tell you that that guy has just stolen some money, so we're going to have to chase him down. To do that, just head to the parlor, and then follow him out back. Follow him out back, and you can then question him up here. Then, after a quick chat with Parissa, you are free to pick up another part of the upgrade for the shovel. As well as spot this cross recipe down here for a silver talisman, you have three stone talisman and one silver ore. It will make a silver talisman for you. That is more for gaining an awareness boost than actually making money because the silver ore costs a lot of money in the shop. You can't make a profit from doing that. We're then going to head back to Emily with the money. Hello. Hi there. And then give her the 350. After that, you will then game Emily as a new contact and earn your first heart with her. Now with the money while we're here as well, we're going to pick up another part of the upgrade for the shovel as well as this pipe wrench over here. Also, if you have any of the money for some of the outfits of some of the girls, it might be the time to pick up maybe the outfit for Alia, for example. From there, we're going to head to the doctor's office and we're going to click on this bird over here. That's going to cause it to run into the car and set off the alarm, moving the receptionist away from her desk. With the receptionist out of the way, we can then pick up this sparkle, which is the MRI room key. Meaning we can go up to this door and now unlock it. In here, we've been able to pick up a chest key as well as a high powered magnet. We are then going to take the high powered magnet back to Diana and give it to her. Doing that will earn you one heart with Diana. It will also oh, mean when you click on it, you can now sell all talisman in one click. It's going to save you a little bit of time in the future. From there, we're going to go speak to Ash. But he's going to tell you here's a photo of Diana and he's going to want 250 for it. Give him the 250 and you will pick up the picture of Diana. We are then going to head back into the park and head back into the cave. And we're going to head all the way over to this chest. We're going to open it up with the chest key. Opening that up will give you your first cover Sutra page for Emily. We also, while we're at the park, we're going to look for a Jane Talisman because doing that would mean we'd be able to upgrade our shovel. It took me about 14 to find one Jane Talisman, so it's up to you if you want to go get stung by a scorpion or not we are then going to head back into the cave and then head to the shrine where at the shrine we are then going to plug in the jade talisman 
the shovel shaft, the shovel handle, and the shovel head. Doing that will then give us the jade shovel. And it should make the animation ever so quickly, especially on the stone talisman. And it slowly upgrades throughout. Also, I just found a big pile of cash down there. That is also another cool random spawn that you can find, which is $100 laying on the ground. Now, with a little bit extra cash, we can head back to the scroll bar and buy some upgrades when it comes to Naomi's booticles. The outside of the house in the current state is going to be fine. That will get her inside the house. It's just your lounge is lacking, so you're going to need to buy a couple of little things for inside the house. And that will make her want to go to your bedroom. So we are going to pick up the £400 house plants and the £200 table. And that will get Naomi into your bedroom. And that is where we're going to end this episode. I will catch you in the next one. Hit like as always. Hit subscribe. Peace out.